loves welcome back again to my youtube channel i feel like it's been such a long time since i have done a sit down uh type style video i guess that it's for like a lot of reasons um my life has been a bit chaotic and i think i'll explain over time all the things that have sort of happened in my life apart from that i know that in the last few vlogs i've mentioned how it's sort of been a struggle for me um, so far dealing with all the acne scarring and everything that has sort of been left behind by my hormonal acne. Just in case you guys don't know, I used to have really good skin before and now this is what I have. The beginning of this year, I had active acne everywhere. Now I just have one hair and one hair. On my journey, I had to figure out how to do my makeup to like cover the scars that I didn't like but also without looking cakey without yapping too much shall we begin I zoomed in a little just so that you can see my skin up close and personal as usual we're going to be starting off with skincare I like to go in with the Nivea 3-in-1 micellar water so this is micellar water but it also could act as a toner so I try to tone my skin and remove any excess impurities because I don't want to stress my acne next up is to moisturize using this Clinique acne clearing gel I try to make sure that I'm doing my skincare routine for my acne even if I'm going to wear makeup just because I do not want my acne to be unattended after massaging that into my skin skin the next thing I'm going to do is apply some sunscreen because your acne scarring could get darker if the UV rays hit it and it becomes more pigmented so just put some sunscreen to protect your skin after going in with sunscreen the next thing I am going to do is to prime my skin I'm currently using a matte primer but ideally um, I would use a matte primer for my t-zone areas and use like a hydrating primer for the rest of my face I did not have that in this video so we're just going to go all around with the matte primer next up I go in with my concealer in a shade that's mine and an orange corrector so I'm going to mix both of them together and go over every single dark spot that I can with this this is to color correct and also conceal these things uh, if you do this before you go over it with foundation that way you don't have to pack on excessive foundation in order to cover up these masks I try not to go to do my best as I possibly can and cover up every single spot um, the dots on my face will show you how much acne scarring I actually do have I then go ahead to moisturize my lips with the Laneige slip mask I really love how this smells and how it feels so even if it's for the night I still use it I then go ahead to go in with a stipple brush a stippling foundation brush and I stipple my concealer and color corrector mix into my skin as you can see I'm pressing this in so that it actually covers as opposed to wiping it when you wipe products you can move them around and it makes it difficult to actually achieve the coverage that you're looking for I continue to blend this in up to the point where there is nothing left on my face now after doing this step if you like you can decide to just finish the rest of your makeup and keep it going but for me if I was going for like brunch or heading out and I wanted to have makeup on I would still go ahead and apply foundation next up I take some brow gel and I brush my brows and after brushing my brows I go over my brush brows with the brow tamer from TM essentials this helps keep my brows in place and helps me keep them as I would like when I'm filling them in just so that everything is nice everything is cute and everything is beautiful now after brushing up my brows I'm going to go in to clean them up now I'm going to first off fill them in with the beauty line by DD brow pencil and I try not to really draw draw my brows I just um, fill them in from the bottom I try to do a line in the front though because that area is quite sparse but for the rest of the brows I just like brush them up in little hair like strokes and I fill them in until I'm satisfied with what I'm doing 
after doing that I brush them out again to have a seamless finish now instead of going with a really bright concealer for my eyebrows because I'm trying to achieve a soft makeup look I would go in with the concealer that is still um, the same shade as my skin tone and I'll take a concealer buffing brush and I would go in and just blend that in and the trick to having makeup that actually looks like skin makeup will always look like makeup but just making sure that everything is so blended after that I'll be using the Maybelline super stay foundation for this this is the shade cinnamon I think it's 340 and I'll make sure to use just one pump nothing more than one pump for this and you dot them on spot parts of your face that you want the foundation to go over as well and you begin to stipple it in as well when you want the best coverage your foundation take time to get a flat top brush and make sure to stipple it in i would usually not wear makeup on my forehead but because now i have these things i'm trying to cover i go ahead to put just little makeup on my forehead after doing that, I spray down with my Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Spray just so that everything is toned down. And then I go in with a beauty blender and blend some more and take away all the excess products that I don't want to have on my skin. Okay guys, at this point, my base is pretty much covered and it already looks like skin so you can just like you know stop but i like to brighten up under my eyes a little bit but i'm just going to be using very little concealer because this is like a every day you run into me in the streets type makeup this is not i am going out to rsvp and i need to kind makeup okay so you just actually first off going with fawn so the fawn concealer is actually my exact foundation match um so i'll just start off with that uh, i don't highlight my forehead because my forehead is already large enough i don't you can if you want to but i don't like you know try to get a little tacky So you just want to keep blending that in. Next up, I'm going to take that angled fluffy brush and I'm going to take a bronzer and I'm going to use that brush to apply the bronzer. So you want to start from the temple of your forehead and do it close to your ear and also do a straight line, taking it from the high points of your cheek back to the temple of your forehead. And then I wanted to blend more, so I just went back in to blend. After blending the concealer, because what you set is what you get, I'm going to take my Laura Mercier setting powder and I'm going to set that for a bit. While doing that, I'm going to pick up my blush along with my fluffy crease brush and my flat brush and I'm going to put the blush and the bronzer on my eyes. This is just to help with the soft chocolatey bronzy type look that I want to go for with this makeup and then I'm going to take my powder and my powder brush and I'm also going to dust off the setting powder and then go on to then stipple the powder on my face and blend it in. I'll apply blush as well as you can see as I'm applying my blush I'm taking it to the high points of my cheeks as well to create a lifted look after doing that I put some highlighter on my nose and then we're off to setting spray now I spray my face down very well and then I take a beauty blender and dab it in this is to help me with that hydrated glowy yet not shiny makeup look I'm going for of course we're going to keep our lips neutral so I'm going in with the Zaron lip liner in cappuccino and the MAC um matte lipstick in velvet teddy for a soft pink nude type lip i'm also going in with my zaron um, lip gloss in xoxo and my fenty beauty gloss balm as well now you can see that i am not rubbing anything i'm only smacking just because i want everything to stay in place 
<sighs> okay guys um i'm going to just go off camera and do my hair then come back and do some finishing touches but so far this is what my makeup looks like i like how it looks you know just soft and my face looks a little bit chiseled but not overdone but let me just go with my wig and come back on camera guys i've been recording and i did not realize that i have not been recording or rather i've been talking to you guys but i didn't realize that i have not been recording so um i've got off camera i want my wig i am here to do mascara for mascara i like to use three mascaras um so i'm using the one from maybelline the push-up angel and i'm also using the colossal kajal then also going in with this one from guerlain why am I using three mascaras? Because I don't want to wear lashes. Because I just want to look like really soft. Like I haven't really done anything, but I have done something type of look, you know. Also, these lights are blinding my eyes. I can't really see. So I would have to do like a using natural light type test. So with the mascara, the initial one. Then going in with this from Garland. I wouldn't be doing a lower lash line mascara or even um, eyeliner just because like I want my eyes to look really soft. Ugh, damn it. Okay, so um if I looked like this, what would I like to smell like? I will show you guys in a sec. So, um, yes, what would I like to smell like? So I feel like this uh, this look, because of my hair color and my makeup look, I'm getting like chocolatey, soft, sweet, bronze goddess type vibe. So today I will be mixing this two scents. I haven't mixed this two scents before. I haven't mixed them before. But we're going to try it. So the first one is YSL by Black Opium. You guys know this scent. Go and watch my How to Smell Good video or my perfume collection video. And then the next one is Passion by Beguiled by Oma. Um, okay. Let's get it going. Let's get it going. Don't get carried away by the way. So the first uh, one. Okay, so I want to go in first with black opium. I would usually wear this at night, but I'm going to use this to sweeten it to make it a daytime scent. Uh, so I'll go in. I like to spray, you know, there. There. Here. And here. Also, neck. Neck. That's all. You don't need to bathe in this stuff. <laughs> To make it like there but not really there and then for the passion i will take it on my neck two more and then i will do something interesting with passion and just bring it right just like here under my arm spread somewhere let's spread some oh my god guys I love how I smell. I'm getting like chocolate, I'm getting coffee, I'm getting strawberry, I'm getting I'm getting sweet, I'm getting I'm delicious. You can you can you can spend time here with me. Okay guys. We've come to the end of this video. This is what how I would do my makeup now if I had to go out during the daytime. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for you know staying with me and just thank you so much for supporting me so now i need to head off for the day see you in my next one bye loves